As you know, what we're saying here is that in order to sell something, you really need to know what you have to sell. Sounds silly, but it's true. And in the sport tourism industry, you have to know what your capabilities are before you represent your destination to event owners. And that starts with recording and observing all of the tournament quality sports facilities in your market. Not just to count them, but to figure out whether they're of tournament quality and which age groups they're most suitable for. Because some of the competition you may host will be for eight-year-olds, some, frankly, for 80-year-olds. So each facility has to be judged both in terms of its tournament quality and also the sports that it's suited for and the age groups that are best suited for that sports facility. So that's the first part of any facility audit. Then you have to conduct a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats on your destination against regional competition and national competition. And when you do that, you have to be fair about it. You have to really carefully think through whether your softball fields are the equal of the softball fields 150 miles away at another destination. Because it's one thing to have 10 fields, and it's another thing to have 10 good fields that event owners will want their players on and feel comfortable about conducting their competition. Some of the other things we look for in a facility audit relate to the destination itself. Is it accessible? Easy to get there by car? Can you fly there? What are the deals with transportation? Very important. Hotels and restaurants, where are they located? Especially where are the hotels in relationship to the sports venues that you may use for the competition? Families are not going to be particularly interested in driving 15 miles from a hotel to a competition site. They want to be closer than that, and it's important that they do. Another thing about accommodations, what kind of room types? A lot of tournaments need double doubles, two double beds in one room. It's difficult to find those kinds of rooms sometimes. You have to find out what you have in your destination and be sure that you've got an accurate inventory of that before you go any further. And then finally, because a lot of these tournaments are mini vacations for some families, what else is there to see and do in the destination while they're there for the sports tournament? Are there theme parks, water parks? Are there historical sites? What else can you do while you're there? Very important to the traveling families and also to the rights holder. And as we finish the sports facility audits that I've been involved with personally, we also try to judge not only what you can do with the facilities you have the way they are right now, but what might happen with modifications or improvements to those facilities. And then, of course, the final step after you have determined all these things, what are the event rights holders that are out there that actually have events like that? And we'll be talking more about that later in the course.